I've seen quite a few comments about how some of you guys get prismatic shards and dinosaur eggs in fishing treasure chests. But I am pretty sure I have never been so lucky. So I wanted to put fishing chests to the test. In this video, I'm going to show you how to maximize your ability to find way more fishing chests than you will ever need. And I will show you everything I got from the fishing chests over the course of 5 in-game days of non-stop fishing. Alright, let's get started. It is important to note, by default, you will have a 15% chance of getting a fishing chest every time you cast out your fishing line. 15% is actually not a bad percentage, so I am already quite hopeful. Your daily luck boost also has an impact on your chances of finding a treasure chest. On the worst possible luck day, you will have a 5% less of a chance of finding a fishing chest. And on the best possible luck day, you will gain 5%. Meaning, on a best luck day, you will have a 20% chance of getting a fishing chest on every single cost. Naturally, we will only be fishing on the best possible luck days. Next, we need to consider our professions. You can easily reset your professions by talking with this dog statue in the sewers. It will cost you 10,000 gold, but trust me, it is worth it. When you sleep, you can choose your professions. First, pick the fisher profession and then pick the pirate profession. The pirate profession will increase your chances by an additional 15%. Now, we are at 35% chance. That is already much better, but we can make it so much better. Now onto the bait. There are currently four types of bait in the game. There is regular bait that just increases the chance of catching fish. Then there is wild bait that gives you a chance of catching two fish at once. Magic bait was introduced in the latest update and it will allow you to catch any fish during any season or weather. And then we have the magnet. For some reason, I thought the magnet was a fishing tackle, but it's actually considered as bait. Magnets will further increase the chance of finding a treasure chest by another 15%. We are now sitting on a 50% chance. Magnets are incredibly useful, but they are way too expensive to buy from Willy as they cost 1000 gold each. And each time you cost your fishing rod, a magnet will be used up. Rather craft these as they only require a single iron bar to craft. For the fishing tackle, you should use the treasure hunter tackle. This tackle has two main uses. First, it increases your chances of finding a treasure chest by 5%. It seems low, but all of it adds up. The second use is actually much more important. Usually when you find a treasure chest and try and get it, you will have to move your fishing bar away from the fish and wait for the treasure chest to become yours. This can sometimes lead to the fish getting away and you need to catch the fish in order to get the treasure. The treasure tackle will prevent the fish's progress bar from dropping and making it easier to get the treasure and the fish. The treasure hunter tackle is a little bit expensive to craft as it requires two gold bars. So I would recommend buying the from Willy as they only cost 750 gold each and they last quite a while. This might seem insignificant but every little bit counts. If you have the special charm wallet item it will increase the chance by 1.25%. To get this charm just bring a rabbit's foot to this person in the truck by the Jojo Mart. There is one more way to increase your chances of finding treasure chests but it only increases the chances by a tiny bit. You can artificially increase your luck by eating food, drinking beverages, or by using lucky rings. Each point of luck will increase the chances by a half a percent. I used some ginger ale and a lucky lunch that I cooked with some MSG. <laughs> I mean, key seasoning to get a very impressive plus six luck. You could also use magic rock candy to get some more luck, but I would highly recommend against that. Magic rock candy is just way too valuable for this. I also have two luck rings, so that brings me up to eight luck. All of this will only add 4% to your chances, but I did it anyway because I had everything anyway. 
Stacking all of these minor buffs together, we have a very impressive 60% chance of finding a treasure chest. Remember when I said all of these minor buffs add up? Yeah, they really do. 60% is quite a good chance. And you'll see in this video that I find so many treasure chests. Alrighty, now that we have a very impressive chance of getting treasure chests, all you need to do now is a fish. I actually tried five different fishing spots to see if it really matters. It pretty much does not matter where you fish. If a fish bites, you'll have a 60% chance that the fish will come with treasure. What does matter is the contents of the treasure. The further you cross your fishing line from any land, the better loot you can potentially get. In other words, if you don't cross your fishing rod at a far distance from any land, you will have a 0% chance of getting iridium ore from the chest. You will still get a treasure chest, the contents just has a 0% chance of being iridium ore. That is also true for most of the better stuff that you can find in these chests. Unfortunately, and I do say this with a very heavy heart, you can and you will get a lot of bait in these fishing chests. For some strange reason, bait has the highest chance out of anything to be in fishing chests. That is quite sad because we don't really want bait. We want iridium ore, prismatic shards, or even an iridium band. I won't sugarcoat it guys. Even though I fished constantly with all of these buffs over the course of 6 in-game days, I didn't get much. This was not at all what I was expecting. I managed to get a dinosaur egg. These have a 1% chance of being found. I also found an ancient seed. Another item with a 1% chance. And I found a bunch of valuable gems like diamonds and emeralds. There are two potential weapons that you can find in these treasure chests and I managed to find one of these. But that was it. The rest of what I found was not very useful. I mean sure, coal and gold ore is useful. But I wanted more. I wanted prismatic shards and those treasure chests that sell for 5,000 gold each. But I just didn't get any of those. This was when I decided to take a look at what the wiki says and see just how rare this stuff is. Take a look at this list I quickly compiled based on the wiki. All of the notable rare items are, as you might have guessed, rare. But they are incredibly rare. The chances of finding a prismatic shard in a treasure chest is about 1 in 7,000. I know this is not how probability works, but if you costed your fishing rod 7,000 times, you should get a single prismatic shard. This is not the conclusion I wanted to end with, but unfortunately, fishing for treasure will probably not get you any treasure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I was quite sad that I was unable to get any good loot in those treasure chests, but it is what it is. Now I know that treasure chests are just not it. If you ever found something rare and valuable in a treasure chest, please boast about it in the comments below. Maybe you guys are luckier than I am. And as always, I will see you in the next video.